Chapter four. Initiating Dark Room in three, two, one. I made it all up. At least Surprise. we have confetti. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. This test chamber took me forever to figure out my first time through. Thankfully, I have it all memorized now. You want to get up on this platform, shoot up there to get the light bridge, shoot there for the light bridge to shoot up in between the two tubes, press the button, bounce both cubes out there, make sure they're both still over there, shoot your second here, come up here, don't get shot by the turret. You don't have to do this next part if you're fast enough, but I like to use the light bridge as a shield against the turret because dying is annoying. Actually, you could probably just use the portals to get the portals to get the cubes over here, but I'm not that smart. Where did the other cube go? Oh, it's over there. Crap. Anyway, you just want to get your hands on both of these cubes somehow. Stop shooting me. Stupid turret. Get yourself over there with both cubes, of course. Redirect, use one redirect to redirect it through both of those turny things. Use this to blow up the turret. Get him, her, it out of your hair. Then, where this helpful thing on the floor says, point the turret. Turret, I'm an surprise. idiot. Tell you what. Let's give Go ahead, talk to Gladys. parents who are trying to reach do not love you please hang up puts a cube there comes oh, through there comes through there hits that thing all five impressive. light up door opens maybe they worked at the phone company Gladys you keep interrupting me I do not appreciate it it's not a good way to LP a game Gladys hey how's it going I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this show they are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. You heard the ball. We have five more chambers until... We're apparently getting out of here. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. First, you want to get your hands on both redirection cubes. By doing that. Now you want to get up there. So you put a portal there, a portal here, take one of your redirection cubes up here. Redirect the beam over into that thing. Once that's done, you want to put one portal up there, one portal here. You then take your redirection cube through the portal, bounce, let it go, drop a portal, pick it up, drop the wrong portal, and mess everything up. Good job, PM. You know what you're doing. Anyway, wrong direction, over there. Bounce up, shoot a portal up there, grab your cube again, get launched over here, shoot your thing back in that direction. Now you need that final cube up there. Which we are going to do the same way we got that one. By putting that portal there, this portal on the floor, bouncing up through, putting the portal up there, launching through, and knocking it off. Now that we have the third cube, put a portal up there, portal here, 
pick it up, drop through, blow up these turrets, they'll explode, and put it into there, make sure it's right in the middle so you don't knock it out of the way. Those things come out, and now for the last time, put a portal up there, we want a portal on that smaller bit right there, drop a portal at your feet, jump through, portal there, portal on the ground, jump through, don't get hit by the beam, and you're out. Hey there, little turret, you survived. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Fun fact, if you buy this on the PS3, you get a free copy for PC or Mac through Steam for free. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. One portal the there. Facility is completely One portal there. Again. That comes through and hits that. Pick this up. Ouch. Portal at a right angle. For that one. Pick this up. Portal at an obtuse angle for that. Jump over it, come back through, and you're out. That's all about getting the angles of your lasers right. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. Can't help but wonder if that was a little bit of talking from the developers talking about, oh, this is a newer game, the graphics are better, and we got rid of everything that didn't work in the original game. Gladys is Gabe Newell. <gasps> I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. Alright, so what you want to do in here is shoot one portal there, one portal on here, jump onto the light bridge, and... Or wait, I did that wrong. Shoot a portal through here. You need to get up to that button. Oh, I see. I remember this chamber now. Shoot a portal through there. You can get up to this button and press it. That drops a cube. And... What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy. I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! It's run! time to run. Come on, come on! Run! Come on! Let's close the door. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down her turret production line. All right, turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! That's actually a clever plan, Wheatley. The irony is you were almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Achievement time! Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Come in here. There's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get that closer. door closes. And the neurotoxin kills you. Good listener. Achievement. Trophy. All you have to do is follow Gladys's instructions and run back into the test chamber as you were escaping. The irony is you were almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Now, if you don't want to die... How stupid does she think we are? Oh. Whoa, jeez. The other direction. There's a lot of turning around and switchbacks and 180 degree turns in this escape segment. Trying to escape the omnipresent. That's Gladys. I was talking about Gladys. Come on, come on! 
jump down in here and run in this direction. Turrets drop down. Thankfully you can sneak around most of them. Knock them over. Put a portal on that wall. Look out here. Portal on that wall. Hop out onto this catwalk. You're okay. Great, come on. That's this all this big way. circle. Follow Wheatley. Follow his rail this way. There's a turret in there. Put a portal there. It drops through. Portal's go, gone. Go, go, go. Turret's gone. There! I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I like the effect of Wheatley floating along next to you. Whoa! Whoa, don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, geez, she's moving the entire facility. And through this door, and we get a loading screen.